So last night over on Twitter, the Fun Pimps gave us some interesting news for 7 Days to Die console. The original tweet was just a pretty poorly composed image of a new POI coming in Alpha 21. Come on Fun Pimps, I know you're an indie game, but surely one of you can take a better, more flattering pick than that. But regardless, in the comments we got the usual flood of console players asking through various misspelled comments, when is console getting updated? And this time, the Fun Pimps actually responded, saying this in response to When Console Edition. They said, We are targeting this year. Now, some people give the Fun Pimps a bad time about missing deadlines, but I think it's important to consider just how tight lipped they really are with release windows these days. You see, back in the day, the Fun Pimps would give release dates for stuff, and they would sometimes miss it. And then they would get death threats for missing it, because the internet is horrible. Anyway, my point is that the Fun Pimps are rightfully very apprehensive about giving windows and dates for releases, thanks to the lunatics among us who couldn't be trusted with an internet connection. Which means that this claim of it coming out this year may well actually hold weight, along with Alpha 21 being announced simply as 2023. We're seeing two very cautious and probably realistic expectations for these two things being released. Which would lead me to a natural question. Are we going to be seeing parity between console and PC? Is the reason that Alpha 21 is taking so long despite having seemingly little to offer because they want to update console with Alpha 21 at the same time as PC? Pure speculation, but it would certainly give a logical reason as to why a decidedly mid-update seems to be taking so long. We're up to 15 months now. I mean, we haven't even seen the streamer applications for Alpha 21 early access yet, and that usually happens a few months before release, so I wouldn't expect to see Alpha 21 until like the summer at this point, although they could surprise us. It's also worth noting that this isn't the only instance of the devs confirming that they're aiming for a 2023 console update release. A few days ago they also responded on another one of their tweets with, this year hopefully, stay tuned. So it looks like we might just be getting a console update in 2023, which I honestly didn't see coming. As usual, take it with a pinch of salt, you never know what issues could come up with this and delay it. According to the Fun Pimps themselves on Twitter, console should be updated in 2023. For those of you counting, by the way, console has not received an update since 2017, so it's a little bit overdue, but there were obviously legal issues that stopped the momentum of the original. 7 Days to Die console edition. Anyway, that's it for today. Just a quick 7 Days to Die console news update video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed. And if you want to know the features coming in the Alpha 21 PC version, click on the video popping up now. Thank you to my channel members and patrons for making this video possible. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.